Ben Voyer, thanks for joining us on Xerfi Canal. You are a full professor of marketing at ESCP Europe and you base your work on psychology, including behavioral economics and cognitive psychology, fields in which we can find precious contributions about gamification. So first of all, what is gamification and uh, where can we find it nowadays? I think gamification, simply speaking, is turning everything into a game. Uh, and there are many parts of our daily lives that are gamified. Uh, obviously, video games are what we think about when we think about games. So you want to reach the next level, you need to earn points, and then if you earn points, you get a badge, you get a reward, uh, and then you move up to the next level. Um, but what people don't realize is that gamification is everywhere. Uh, maybe you're a frequent traveler, uh, and the airline with which you fly, uh, once you've done five flights with them, you get a new status. You get to be silver, you get to be bronze, you get to be gold. Uh, and with every level, uh, you get a new membership level, uh, and maybe you get a new reward, new privileges, and so on. Uh, that's an example of gamification. Uh, so turning everything into a game, uh, making it fun, uh, making it engaging, uh, and making it something where the desired behavior is not seen as a constraint, but it's seen as something that is actually a fun thing to do. More specifically, what are the benefits of gamification on consumer or employee uh, behaviors? I think the main benefit is that you're turning something that is often seen as a burden uh, into something that becomes fun to do. Uh, let me give you an example. Maybe you work in an environment in which um, health and safety is very important. So you have two approaches. The traditional approach is to make lectures and to tell people and put big signs and say, you have to do this. This is the kind of like old fashioned 20th century way of doing this in which you simply tell people what they have to do. Uh, it's a kind of like a top down approach. Uh, then comes gamification and, and cognitive and behavioral psychology. With cognitive be and behavioral psychology, what you're trying to do is to encourage people to engage in the behavior that you want, for instance, washing your hands, by making it fun. You can make it fun by having people earn points, uh, earn privileges, earn rewards, even symbolic rewards. Um, and obviously, all of this is accelerated now with the use of smartphone and applications. So gamification is quite a recent notion in the management fields. What could, what should be corrected in gamification to enhance its benefits? I think there's a few things that uh, you need to be aware or need to do if you want to maximize uh, the effect that gamification can have. First, um, it's to have a game turn something into a game that is based on theory. So in behavioral economics, we know that there are a lot of biases. For instance, uh, the present bias. We know that people are more geared towards present things than things that come in the future. Um, other types of biases that make people uh, focus on different types of rewards and so on uh, mean that you can actually guide people's behavior if you know the kind of theories uh, and the kind of principles that you want to uh, put at the heart of your game. So the first thing is plan with a the theory in mind. Um, the second thing I would say is know what to measure. Because when we talk about gamification, we want to measure a behavior and we want to make sure that we can reward people for engaging into that behavior. But also as managers, we know what goes into that behavior. So we need to be able to measure it. And the third principle I would say um, is make it progressive. A good game is a game that takes you as a beginner, but as you progress, as you get better at the game, that game encourages you to do more and more uh, and more. And so these three principles, knowing what theories to apply and put at the heart of the game, uh, then measuring and making sure that you can measure it and give feedback both to the team that developed the game and the people that are playing the game. And third, having a progressive games that want to keep you doing more. You know, you, everyone talks or think about Candy Crush when it comes to an, an addictive form of game. And that's really a game that knows how to trigger interest and renewed interest uh, and, and so on. So these three principles together means that you can develop the perfect game. So uh, lots of benefits but lots of things to do uh, to go further in uh, gamification. Thank you very much Ben Voyer for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.